Hello crafters and DIYers. I thought we'd start with this beautiful picture because any second now I'm going to turn around and I'm going to film the loo. Dun, 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 dun. Very uninspiring. Now, my new loo seat has come, which is uh, 400 pounds in value. So I had to get this off. So is it, it's all covered in paint. I wasn't particularly worried about that. Obviously, if you've got a, a suite that you really like, you need to cover it up when you're slapping gloss paint on it. Although it does probably just come off. I haven't tried actually. Um, anyway, these things are, first of all, I went under and there was a big sort of long screw about that long and then a half a butterfly clip thing. So I was trying to undo that and I wasn't getting anywhere. Put, got some rubber gloves, tried again, because you can give it a bit more when you've got a rubber glove, you may feel, feel a bit more, less squeamish, shall we say, because I wasn't going to do this. I thought, no, I'm going to get my brother to do this because he's, you know, he, he's one of those people that likes a bit of mansplaining with respect. And he would have jumped at the chance to come and mansplain to me. Because it's not mansplaining when you ask for it. It's actually just doing a nice thing. <laughs> get out, claws. Um, anyway... These things, I was, I was, I thought, oh, I'm going to have to access it from underneath. I'm going to have to put on some WD-40, which I found in a special cupboard. Um, but I didn't need that because I was trying to push these out from under the seat and not, nothing was happening. So then I just gave it a flick with the old knife and lo and behold, they come up. OK, the bit, there was a bit of crystallised sort of cleaning uh, produce, obviously built up over time. Um, that was the only thing. So don't don't do this when you when you're nice and clean. Do it when you're when it's, well, this is a mucky job, you know. Do it after the painting. So this thing, I was I don't have a, a, a large screwdriver that big, so I use this knife. You have to be careful that you don't ruin the. It's not the thread, but this slit because these are plastic. Um, I mean the new ones have got a metal. So come back later. I'm not going to make you watch me unscrew a plastic screw. That that would be, um, you know, grim. So come back in in a minute, and I will show you how to put the new loo in. We're, I'm guessing it's exactly the same. That the fittings that have come with my new loo seat are identical because the gentleman I bought it off said it's standard loo, standard size, da da da. And I did just check. I put the seat on yesterday just to check we're all on the right track, and we seem to be. So how fabulous is it going to be? Shall I show you the, um, I don't want you to look around the uh, undecorated room, so I'm not going to walk into the other room, but I'm going to start filming again in a minute because I've got a package. Let's go and see what it is. <laughs> 